Welcome back to Urban Trendsetters. We are here at the Local 200 uh, United Brotherhood Carpenter Joiners of America's Union Hall in support of the One Nation 10 to 10 March. The National NAACP put this event together as a local organization movement to support jobs, to support education, to support economic development. And all over the country there are organizations coming together just like here in Columbus to say, you know what, we need to, not only do we need to vote, put the right people in office, but these people also have to have our best interests at heart. We need jobs, our children need to be educated fairly, and we need economic opportunities. And so we're going to be talking with several people today and getting their views on what is going on across the country and encouraging you to get out and vote. Yeah, I'm Bruce Bostic. Um, moved down here about a year and a half ago and uh, been up in Lorraine for a long time, but uh, really love this Labor Federation out here. And we got to get our people out there and we got to fight for jobs. And uh, if, um, if we can get the Democrats back in, it gives us the potential opportunity to potentially win that fight. But we got to build a fight for jobs and, and, uh, and that's, that's where we're at. If we, if we build a fight for jobs, there's no way on earth those teabaggers ever on earth ought to ever even dream of out mobilizing labor. Hi, I'm Troy Harris. I work with the United Way of Central Ohio. I'm here today because um, our country is in a difficult spot. We're at a crossroads. We're dealing with a time in which the the powers that be are telling us that we're divided. Red and blue, um, gay or straight, um, rich and poor, but we're united. We're united together for the same things. We all want the same things. We want quality education for our children. We want safe and decent housing. We want good jobs. We want safe jobs. We want fair jobs. And we want a prevailing wage. We want to be able to make the kind of income in which we can support our families. Good morning. I'm Noel Williams, the president for the Columbus NAACP. This morning we are out getting the vote out, encouraging people to vote come November 2nd, or they can start to vote early. Today this is about one nation, bringing our nation back together for jobs, justice, and education. One Nation is made up of a multiracial group of organizations, a multiracial group of people that understands the importance of putting our nation back to work, securing jobs, making sure our justice system works fairly and equally for all citizens, making sure our children get a quality education. Let me encourage all of you, if you have not voted, get out and vote. It's not too early. You can vote now. You can go to the Board of Elections, 280 East Broad Street, 8 to 5. Or you can send off for an absentee ballot and vote. Or you can wait to Election Day. But I cannot stress, I cannot over encourage you enough. Vote America. Get out and vote. Judge Kimberly Cocroft. I'm here in the parking lot of the Afrocentric School uh, with Pastor Fred Lamar, Pastor John Little, Reverend Joel King, a lot of other community leaders. Uh, and we are encouraging our communities to go to the Board of Elections and vote. It's your responsibility, it's your duty, it's your privilege. Uh, a lot was sacrificed so that all people can have the right to vote. So it's important that you exercise that right. Let your voice be heard. If you don't vote, you cannot complain. So we're encouraging everybody to go out and vote, make a difference in your community, in your state, in your city, in your county, in your world. Remember Judge Kimberly Cocroft when you go to vote. C-O-C-R-O-F-T. Do not confirm your vote until you vote Cocroft. Take care everybody. I'm currently the Franklin County Auditor and uh, I'm just excited about the capacity to serve. Uh, proud to be an African American uh, in this role and, and to hope to make the community proud by way of my service. So I appreciate the opportunity. Keep Mingo in mind and uh, grace and peace to all of you. Thank you. On somebody, they're going to give them a pink slip. And on the other side, we're going to give somebody a job. All right. All right. And hopefully by the time they get a job, they give us a job. Amen. Amen. Are you fired up? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Are you fired up? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Are you fired up? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. We're going to vote. 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 Hello. 
this is Noel Williams, the president for the Columbus, Ohio NAACP. The NAACP and the faith community is out here today to urge all citizens to get out and vote. There's early voting going on in the state of Ohio, so we want to encourage you to come out and vote. Vote for the candidates that represent your interests. Come out and vote. We want to invite you to come out and march with us. We want to encourage you to go to the Board of Election Monday through Friday and vote early. But remember, vote. Thank you. Uh, we're glad to be here. Um, here is our um, 12th Homicidal Healing March. And this one we're focusing on voting, going to march and to vote. We have here young brothers like my um, nephew, um, Kente Wilkerson, and he's marching with us. He's going to vote to bring about a difference. And the main thing we focus on, we focus on the judges today because judges have make a big difference. We feel the judges are the gatekeepers to the prison pipeline. And we want to make sure young brothers like this here are not winding up in the prisons. So we're here to vote to make a difference. You want to say something, Tane? Give a shout out to your brothers. Yeah, and just and make sure my brothers, everybody get their life together and just pray the Lord and keep their head out. All right. God bless you. Yeah, we're happy to be out here today doing this early vote march on the faith community and, and, to, and to inspire people to get out to vote early so they don't have to wait their lives and to vote their hearts and, and their convictions today. As I just stated to the audience, we want them to know that this is an opportunity from now to November 2nd where we can give candidates a job or we can give candidates some pink slips in this election. So we hope that we can get a lot of pink slips because we need to make a lot of changes in both in the judgeships and some of the local elections as well as the governorship and the attorney general and especially the uh, secretary of state office and the auditor and all those candidates. So we ask people to get out and vote, vote early, vote your conscience, do the right thing.